Welcome back, my dear students, in part two of our lesson factorizing the perfect square trinomial. First, the example here is factorized as usual. Example one, 25x squared plus 70x plus 49. In part one, that was a missing term, a missing term, the first or the second or the last, whatever, and you must get this missing term. By certain rules, we set these rules in the first part. Here we are going to factorize or put it in the form of factorization. Remember, before factorization, number one, you must take care that your terms are arranged descendingly according to the power of x, starting with power two, then power one, then nothing. Number two, your terms hasn't any HCF. If you have HCF, take it. If you have common factor, take it in front of the trinomial. Here we have trinomial. Before factorizing it, I have to remind to check that this trinomial is perfect square. How can I check this? First term, step number one, to have to check this by taking the root of the first term. If the root, if the first term has a root, Yes, it has a root. So, go to the third term. Third term has a square root. Yes, it has a square root. Okay, think about the middle term. If the middle term comes from number two by root of the first, which is 5x, by root of the third, which is number seven, yeah, two times five times seven equals 70. So, this 70 in the middle here. So, this term is perfect square trinomial. Again, Again, the first term is perfect square. It has a root. Its root is 5x. Last term, it has a root, is 7. Middle term is what? Root of the first, root of the last, multiplied by 2. And this is clear in front of you here. How can I make the factorization of this trinomial? It's very easy. Step number one, open your bracket. Open your bracket. Right here, power 2. Open just one bracket. Open just one bracket, not two brackets, like the two parts, previous two parts. Drop the root of the first here, drop the root of the last here. Root 25x, 5x. Root 49, 7. All to the power 2. That means the rule is root of the first term, positive or negative, root of the third term. All to the power 2. But what about this positive or negative? Shall I put positive according to my mind or what? I have to choose the sign according to the middle sign of the trinomial. The middle sign here is positive, so write positive. For example, in the middle term here, negative, drop, negative, and so on. Do you remember this? When it was 5x plus 7 all to the power 2 equals 25x squared. Do you remember? Do you remember what is the or what is the next step to do this? 5x to the power 2 is 25x squared. 7 is 49 because 7 squared. And the middle term, first times second times 2. 5 times 7 times 2 equals 70x. You remember this? You remember this? 70x again, again, again. Here, 5x, it's power 2. 5x, 25x squared. 7 to the power 2, 49. What about the middle? 5 times 7 times 2. 5 times 7, 35. 35 times 2, 70. X because 5X times 7, 5X. So this form give me this. That because of power 2 here. You have to put it. This term equal to this bracket all to the power 2. Example number 2. Here I have factorize. I said before, you have to open just one bracket. Okay, run item number two, open a bracket. Right here, power two. Drop the middle of the sign. Get root of the first, get root of the last, and write it. Root of the first, 4y. Root of the last, 5. Next. This is the final answer, by the way. 4y, negative 5, all to the power two. Next. 5a square negative 36a plus 81. Open one bracket. 
move to the power 2. Drop the middle sign. If it is negative, drop negative. Yes. Get root of the first root. 4a square equals 2a. Root 81 equals 9. 2a, negative 9, all to the power 2. I hope you got the lesson. It's very easy today. And our homework will be, inshallah, in the booklet, booklet page, page 5, question 1, and page 7 8, question 4. Goodbye.